All right, we're here at Black Heritage Art Gallery, the oldest existing African American art gallery in the continental United States. Um, Robbie Lee is the proprietor and owner and founder of this gallery, and today is her day to give you a brief synopsis of her her history, her involvement in the Houston um, landscape as it relates to the preservation of our culture through art. Good afternoon, Ted. Yes, we've been around since January 10, 1977. This is our third and final location. I don't intend to relocate after leaving here. Uh, it's wonderful. It's a unique experience to still be able to offer the community an opportunity to see art and the artist a place to expose their art and show their art. Everything we have here is for sale, so we're not a museum. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't this one of the first places that, that sold Dr. Biggers, Dr. John's Biggers artwork, original artwork? Yes, we are the first gallery to sell his artwork. Now, you've, you've seen it have been the, the, the constant, the plug for us preserving our culture and heritage um, visually. Um, what do you see the landscape right now in Houston, right now? The landscape here is going to continues to improve here because we have more and more people moving in from the north. They're, the migration has changed. They're migrating from the north to the south and they're looking for some black art to go in their house or they're looking for black businesses to, to support. And with President Obama, awareness is continuously coming. Now, have you seen the acquisition of African American art beyond the African American community? Oh yes, that was from the very beginning, but that wasn't the purpose of our gallery. The purpose of this gallery was to invite our community, the black community, a place to buy it because we were not represented in other galleries and if you were there was only a John Biggers that was shown or an African artist that there was no tracking who this person was. Now, beside yourself, are there other, other cultural institutions celebrating African American um, history and lifestyle as well? Oh yes, here in Houston we have many. Now, not as many as we used to, but we still have row houses, we have the Community Artists Collective. We have the new Museum of African American Culture. Uh, we have MoMA. And let's see, Jerry's no longer in existence at Jerry Parker's and the shrine is closed. But there are artists such as Ted Ellis and Lionel Lofton who continue on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis as well as LaShawn Brill to produce art on a full-time basis. Wow, that's interesting. So Houston seems to be having a thriving African American art community. I see other parts of the country having challenging times right now. Uh, what would you attribute to that? Our economy, we're gas driven. You know, this is the oil and gas mecca here in the south and a lot of our people still work for those companies or they work for banks and those businesses really have not changed in a lot. Now I noticed over the almost the 20 years that I've known you, an artist can practically come off the street and you'll hang his art on the wall. Why is that? Because that's normally not protocol for, for other gallery owners. Somebody has to give you an opportunity and give you that first break. Once you get that first break, I truly feel like it builds the artist's confidence to create some more work, some better work, and take it to other galleries and say, they're hanging my work, they're selling my work, give me an opportunity. And I think they come over and spy and see what we're doing and see that we're selling it. Now, Robbie, is there a website, if people don't get a chance to come and visit physically, that they can see your gallery and some of the works here? They can Google us and do us at blackheritagehouston.com. Okay, thank you. Now, what's a phone number if they want to call and reach you? If they want to call us Tuesday through Saturday at 713-529-7900. Okay. Now, Robbie is available for lectures at a fee to speak on the state of contemporary African American art and the history of African American art. She's probably busy during the month of February, so book outside the month of February. But do, but do come by and visit not only visit but purchase art here locally from African American artists here locally as well as throughout the United States. Thank you Robbie so much for this interview and we wish you much success, happiness and prosperity. Thank you. I must add that when you're framing, we frame everything. Thanks. It's our pleasure. Thank you again. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Is that... <laughs> it's still red. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah,